Hi guys, today I've got a nice new lens for you. It's a Michael lens, it's a C-mount lens, and um, it's a 35mm f-stop 1.7, and um, it's a very, very nice bit of kit. It boasts high-definition optics glass, and it's multi-coated as well, although it doesn't stop light ghosting. Um, which I quite like for the films which I shoot, so I don't have a problem with that. I paid about um, £38, I think it was, for this lens, and so far I'm not unhappy with it. I've had it for an entire day, and I know it's not a long time to judge a lens and say whether you like it or not, but I can tell that I'm going to like this one for a very long time to come. Um, I've had enough lenses, and uh, quite frankly, some of them have sat in the corner for years and not being used, but the, this is the type of lens that I would use. Um, it's a C-mount lens, which is still usable for micro four thirds, and it has absolutely no vignetting whatsoever that I can make out. Um, so it is very, very good. And it also fixes one of the problems which this lens arrived with, which um, was I was a little unhappy with this lens in only one respect, and that's that I got vignetting at the sides. But um, the whole problem turns out to be with the base of um, this in terms of the unscrewable C-mount to Micro Four Thirds camera. Um, and it turns out that if I use this lens with the one which comes with this camera, I don't get vignetting on that lens either. So um, I have to say that it has come with a, a superb build quality Micro Four Thirds um, connector there. One thing I will say is that it doesn't connect well to the um, to the lens cover on this side, which is kind of sad, but it's easily fixed with a bit of blue tack just wedged in there. And I know that sounds really, really um, like can't be asked sort of thing, but it does the job and that's all you really need. Uh, the front is beautiful, beautifully protected. It's very hard to, to knock this one off. And it will stay there. At, it will stay there at the infinity setting. And if you move it all the way back to the 0.3 setting, it will eventually kick the um, lens off. I'm not going to show that to you, but if you can notice the side, it can be attached like so with um, the infinity setting open, com completely set, and um, it can't be attached when the lens comes out like so. So. Um, yeah, it's not going to attach now. It's a very, very good lens. I've used it both with flash and without. You can get an insane amount of detail by um, putting the f-stop all the way up to 16, which means you can close it really, really tightly and uh, get a whole lot of detail out of everything. I love the fact that there's no vignetting and it is an absolutely fantastic lens and a joy to work with. I really, really like it and I, I couldn't recommend it high enough. If you use other C-mount lenses and you're getting vignetting, this one's base should sort it out, um, the connector, the adapter rather. Um, it, I, I really like this lens. Anyway, I used it primarily to take a load of photographs yesterday. I'll show you a couple of those um, without people in them and you'll be able to see that it's a good lens for photography. I would say that it's also a good lens for filmmaking. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this lens. Anyway, on to some photographs. Here are some photographs with flash. And here are some photographs without flash. Okay guys, getting up close and personal with my pen light just to show you a little bit of that ghosting there. As you see it's not too bad, uh, it's kind of pretty and uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to focus on books. We've got a nice smooth moving focus which we can control quite quickly, it doesn't have to be too quickly and we can change the amount of light coming into the lens which means that focus is not going to be so big a de deal. I'm moving it all the way now. The more uh, light I cut out, the more quality comes into the lens. I have both a voice and a face for radio. Anyway, at the end of the day, I really, really like this, this lens. Um, it's got a nice metal construction, which means that it's durable. Um, it is heavy. I mean, it's about as heavy as um, my Panasonic Lumix lens, which is much bigger. Um, however, the um, the build quality is absolutely beautiful. Um, 
In terms of um, the lens covers as well, I've noticed that the Micro Four Thirds base that it comes with is slightly different from the other Micro Four Thirds bases that I use on my lenses. As you can see, it's much, much sort of thicker and um, it is much, much more reliable and it won't come off easily. So I was wrong beforehand when I was using a normal Micro Four Thirds base and when I was using the other one, which was actually designed for it, it was, um, better so I should do a bit more research in the future in regards to that term but um, aside from that it's a beautiful lens to bridge the gap from say a 20 millimeter pancake lens or something like that to uh, say your 50 millimeter Canon lens it is kind of heavy but it's good if you're a photographer that likes to work out a lot because you know you've got your um, 35 millimeter Michael lens in one hand you've got your SLR magic uh, you know, night lens in your other hand, and you know, you're just feeling really physically fit and all the girls are attracted to you because of that. I'm not using any of those lightweight Olympus wussy lenses. Um, but it's a really good lens. Couldn't really recommend it high enough and um, it should fix any problems with a couple of other CT CTV lenses which you may be using. But yeah, I'd recommend this for a Micro Four Thirds user. The only real issue is if you're attaching it to a big body camcorder like my AF100, it's hard to kind of reach the um, light cutoff ring. You have to sort of reach around and um, sort of turn it like that. It's not really a major issue because you set up your light before the shot and I'd always be shooting really in f1.7 apart from being if I was like seriously outdoors. But that's what the natural density filters on the thing are for. Because um, I really, really like blurring out the background and having a nice sharp picture. Um, the front one can be turned quite easily from around the big bul bulky body of a camcorder, so it's not really an issue. Um, it's not a gar gargantuan lens as well, so it's not big and bulky and it won't really get in the way. Uh, it's one of the advantages of having these really small lenses, they don't get in the way and it's, you don't have like hundreds of them r rattling around you that are um, really really heavy and annoying and big because yeah anyway I'm wittering and wittering and wittering it's not really getting anywhere what can I say about it for 38 pounds I'd say it's definitely a good piece of kit it has sorted out my problems with the other CCTV lenses uh, waffled way too much on that and um, I really, really like it, and I'll definitely be using it more in the future. Anyway, I've enjoyed making this review. You can probably tell the amount of waffling that I've done, because the more I like a lens, I generally waffle more in regard to, um, to that whole thing. It's a nice lens, beautiful, and couldn't recommend it high enough. Anyway, take care, have a lovely day, and I'm really sorry for going on so much. Anyway, bye-bye.